They also further said that the paper also describes that a further understanding of the autophagy process may soon lead to improved treatment measures against such infectious diseases. So it's nice to kind of see that, sure, the research isn't quite up to par as far as understanding how autophagy tackles infections, but they're also seeing that autophagy possibly might be a way to utilize, to use as a treatment option. What's up, fasters? Dr. Legrand here, here for another fasting video. If you are new here and if you want to know more about fasting and also about natural medicine, other health tips, every Tuesday and Thursday, every week, we post at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time every Tuesday and Thursday. So if you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any other future videos. So today we're going to talk about how autophagy or if autophagy can reduce infections or even prevent against infections. The first thing that we need to discuss about is what are the different types of infections that our body can get. So there's five main types. You have, of course, the bacterial infections, viruses, which are your two most common ones. You also have uh, fungus infections as well as uh, parasites and protozoa types of infections. Those are not as common, so I'm going to kind of discuss a little bit more in the bacterial and also virus. Now, as far as when we look at conventional medicine, whenever you do get a bacterial infection, we tend to go towards and get some antibiotics. That's the most common treatment. When you go and see your physician, they'll give you some antibiotics to get rid of the infection. The problem with that is over time is that the reason why you have to be careful with doing a series of lots of different antibiotics is that your body can be um, adapted immune to it and you have to do different strands of different antibiotics that can become an issue where you become, your body becomes resistant. And this is where you do have to be careful. And that's why a lot of times it's best to kind of see what kind of infections that you do. And that's why the doctors will run different labs to, to kind of hone down what kind of infection that you're dealing with. Because if it's a viral infection, antibiotics are not really going to do anything for you. Now, there is different other medications that you can use for viral infections, but they're a little bit more scarce when it comes to viral infections. And this is where I think autophagy really kind of shines, where it can benefit our body of attacking and preventing against viral infections, but of course, of the other infections as well. Now, there's been a lot of research out there with autophagy when autophagy is not activated or is not working as efficiently when we get older is they find a connection that we tend to be more prone to infections because autophagy does help regulate and break down infectious cells and diseases and kind of renewing things for us, especially renewing our immune system, which is a video I've talked about before as well. But when it come, when there's a connection where we realize when autophagy isn't really present, we tend to be prone to getting more infections or at least be more vulnerable to infections. Now, when it comes to autophagy, we realize that the research has kind of shown that when autophagy is not really activated, especially as we get older and not activating the process of autophagy, there has been links to showing that we are more likely or at least more prone to pathogenic infections when autophagy is not really activated. So this kind of, kind of starts to lead way to realize that autophagy is important when we're having to fight against infections. So as I mentioned before, autophagy is a great option when it comes to viral infections, but I wanted to dive into the research that's out there as far as when it comes to autophagy and infections. So first starting off with the first research article, uh, there's one study that describes that the specific mechanisms are still to be studied whether or not the activation of autophagy during a viral infection is beneficial or not should be established. At this moment, uh, however, the study did find a beneficial associated between autophagy activation and certain types of arboviruses. So kind of setting that precedence is that there's still research being done as far as when specifically looking at viruses in autophagy, they found certain specific viruses can be beneficial, but not all. But again, looking at autophagy as an option, especially using fasting to induce autophagy to help for viral infections. The next study I want to kind of discuss here is that uh, a scientific paper published in the uh, Dove Press Journal of Immunotargets and Therapy explains that the main role of autophagy in terms of microbial infections 
is related to the effects that the process has on the immune function. Autophagy has also been shown to provide a significant improvements in the immune health, which in turn helps to add to overall defenses that the human body has when pathogenic microbes become present. So really kind of seeing that if autophagy can help with our immune system, boosting our immune system, of course that's going to help with any kind of types of infections. So that alone, seeing that if autophagy can boost our immune system, it's going to boost our overall health and also fighting off of infections and even preventing infections if you are somebody that does deal with to be prone to always getting colds, flus, other viral infections or bacterial infections, earaches, whatever it might be, that fasting can certainly be something that can help prevent that as well as boosting your immune system. To continue with the, the same study, you know, they also discussed about that the immune system would be not only able to recognize pathogenic microbes, but also be able to fight off these pathogens before they might contribute to infectious diseases. This means that autophagy does not only play a possible role in the active infections, but could be useful as a preventative strategy. So what I already just talked about is that stu- they found this also to be a preventative measure when activating autophagy because of activating and boosting the immune system and also renewing the immune system. The next scientific study I want to discuss about is that in another scientific paper, scientists explain that the adverse relation between human disease with a particular focus on microbial infection and autophagy dysfunction. So just looking at that alone really is showing that when there's a dysfunction in autophagy, there seems to be more prevalence of microbial infections going on in the body when autophagy is dysfunctioned. They also further said that the paper also describes that a further understanding of the autophagy process may soon lead to improve treatment measures against such infectious diseases. So it's nice to kind of see that, sure, the research isn't quite up to par as far as understanding how autophagy tackles infections, but they're also seeing that autophagy possibly might be a way to utilize, to use as a treatment option. So as we know, and as you know, if you've been following my channel for a while, is that fasting is probably the best way of inducing autophagy. Now, they're trying to use different methods, different um, medicine and stuff like that to activate autophagy, especially when it comes to cancer, because they're realizing autophagy is something really, really powerful when it comes to being on our side for our body to fight against infections, also fight for cancer other types of conditions such as diabetes, cardiovascular markers, so many things that can benefit the human body. But as we know, fasting is probably one of the best ways of inducing autophagy. And that's why really you should be considering it if you've not been, if you've been following me for a while and been kind of contemplating about doing fasting, you really should consider implementing at least some intermittent fasting to kind of get on the bandwagon of the benefits of autophagy, especially if you deal with a really crappy immune system. And you tend to be prone to infections. You might want to do something like this to activate autophagy so that it can prevent from getting any further infections or at least get it to a point where you're not having to be sick as often throughout the year to be able to kind of make your body be a little bit more built to fight against any kind of invasive infections that come our way every year. So I hope you guys found this beneficial. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and share with somebody who really would benefit from this, who might be dealing with really poor immune system or deal with infections all the time. They might need to hear this, so go ahead and share that with them. And if you are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right here, and also check out our other playlist right here that you could check out of our other fasting videos. And as always, this is Dr. Rand signing out, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.